Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Interesting story for you guys today. Tracy Alice Ross finally admits that she's hit the wall. So guys, I'm going to read this caption for you guys real quick. It reads, the award-winning actress opened up on a recent episode of Glennon Doyce. I believe that is. Um, we Can Do Hard Things podcast, where she talked about what it's like being 50, single, and going through her menopause. I have for my entire life been tethered to a very routine cycle, and I'm very connected to my body, so I would know I'm ovulating. I would have all the feelings of knowing that, and all of that is out the window and I turned 50. And here I am in this open space, allowing the bubbling up of whatever might be here. She went on to say, I feel fertile with creativity, full of power, more and more woman than I've ever been. And yet that power that I was told I must use was not used. For those of you who are unaware, perimenopause is defined as around menopause. It pertains to the time during which a woman's body makes the natural transition to menopause, according to Mayo Clinic. Last paragraph here says, I don't have kids, I don't have a partner, so I have been forced to go, what do I want? I have had many wonderful ins and outs of things, but no one stuck to the pan. As a result, I get to curate my family, my chosen family around me, and I don't think I realized the gift of that until I've started to get older. Comes a time in a woman's life, a woman exactly like Tracy Ellis Ross, who prioritized her career and you know we can all acknowledge that she's a very successful actor she's very talented she's good at her craft but she's also very single and has been for a while in fact i remember a conversation she had with kevin hart and he asked her i believe why she was single and her response was i would love a relationship that makes my life better than what it is she went on to say i have no interest in being in a relationship just to be in a relationship and then she concluded the response by saying, I could have a wheel of lovers, right? And so I want you guys to really pay attention to that first line. She says, I would love a relationship that makes my life better than it is. So of course they were kind of confirming some things we already know about modern women and dating is the more successful a woman is, the more that she limits her options, right? If she wasn't this successful actress um, who's experienced a whole lot, on her own, probably a whole lot of relationships, then she would see value in a man who she's attracted to, right? Even that top percent man isn't a woman that like Tracy Ellis Ross would probably be attracted to simply because she just says, if that man can make my life better than it is, hey, she says she's good on her own. She does not need a man, right? But what's the problem here? Because there is a problem. In order for her to announce to the world that she has to find peace, with being childless prove something is that women do want children is that family and children are an important thing life is about people at the end of the day and there is a sense of emptiness that comes from women who do this and there are a lot of them which is why this is a popular post who prioritize a career over finding a man finding a husband and there are some consequences to suffer from these decisions now a lot of people could probably relate to her, specifically a lot of women related to this. In fact, they had a lot to say about this specific situation. We're going to read a few of these comments, first from the general public, which is most likely going to be women, and then second from the Coffee Pot official. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. First comment here comes from a woman. She says, having kids and a husband doesn't define a woman. Yes, ma'am, I'm here for it. Yes, it does, right? It does define you in a sense. Because at the end of the day, what are we doing on this planet? And I'm not talking about, because I know immediately people rush to the, well, what about women who can have kids? Okay, that's understandable. But that's not most women out here. But again, if we all stop reproducing good, balanced, decent human beings in this life, then what are we doing? What are we doing? I know women have to, in this position, they have to say this because they often um, conflate personal value with sexual market value. And what a lot of women are realizing, especially women in the situation that this actress is in, is when they go out here to date, they can't give a man what he wants. Children. Because most men who these women are going to date now, you know, if they want to settle down, they want to settle down because they want children. If you can't give a man children, then finding a man who does not want that 
and still wants to get married. I mean, men barely, men barely want to get married today, right? as it is. When it comes to marriage, that is the only time a lot of men would think about drinking some tea. No, um, I'll have a tea actually. But you know, the, there's, it's cope. But again, it's important that a lot of women know that personal value, your value, your worth, what you've given to the world. Tracy Alice, Ross, like she's a talented person. Obviously, I've, I've enjoyed her movies. Many people have. That's different from your sexual market value. Now, in the sexual dating market, uh, you're not giving men who probably want to get married what they want, as in the men who she would probably, and there are men out there who she would probably want to be with and marry, they're not checking for. Her. That's the honest truth, people. And her saying, well, I just haven't found the right person isn't necessarily the case. But of course, you know, I understand that she can't just admit that because, you know, it's a tough thing to admit publicly and she doesn't have to. Next comment here from another woman says, all women do not enjoy motherhood and marriage. It's some very beautiful, happy, rich aunties running around yeah, with cats. You know what's funny is like the, this assumption that all the, the women who are post wall um, past, you know, way past their prime are rich aunties. Come on. <laughs> That's not the case. They're not all rich aunties. In fact, it's probably the opposite. I want you guys to really think about that for a second. There's all these cope sayings and mechanisms that society has used to help women get through the fact that maybe they might have messed up and not prioritized a marriage and having kids think if we all of a sudden assume that every man out there who never got married just is you know is rich and enjoying his life right you never hear there's all these rich uncles walking around no that's not the case you are a failure you, you didn't build a family what's wrong with you that man never got it together he's still chasing cheeks that's the sentiment a lot of the times. He's, they look down on you, you're dating younger women, something's wrong with you. Next comedy from another woman says, when she said the trans community showed me you don't have to have a child to be a woman, I need to read the whole article before I have an opinion because I was confused by the statement. Mm. Okay, so she says the trans community showed her that she doesn't have to be um, a mother to have, to be a woman, I'm sorry, interesting. What do you guys think of that? Comment down below. Another woman here says, I get motherhood is not for every woman, but working in the healthcare field, I've helped take care of some elderly, childless women, and majority have said their biggest regret was not having children. Listen to me, listen to me, listen and listen well. This chick is probably um, either a certified nurse assistant, CNA or something like that, because she's working with the elderly. I did that job for 10 years. It's what I did for the majority of, um, just right out of high school, right? While I was trying to start businesses on the side. That's what I did. 10 years, worked with the elderly. I learned a lot with those people. And yes, this is very, 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 very true. When you are older, older people in care homes usually look back to not having children with regret. And for some of them, they actually took like a fatherly role and had people come visit them who maybe were not their kids but some of them understood this and maybe they couldn't have kids so they adopted or they played significant roles in young people's lives it matters relationships matter and you don't realize this stuff until you're old especially in this country that's different from other countries they don't really treat elderly that well right you're kind of just disregarded after you're too old to um, feed the economy so to speak from an economic standpoint. This commenter goes on to say, I think it's beautiful to be at peace, being alone and childless, but I really do wonder if regret or sadness will set in during her elder years. It most likely might. And I don't wish that on anybody, right? Because that's not something I plan to go through myself. Another comment here from another woman says, it's ghetto out here, Tracy. You ain't missing out on nothing. With a thousand likes um, by this chick who by herself in her profile picture. Another man responded back to that woman and says she missed already. She can now successfully be a sugar mom. And somebody else added to this thread and says, don't lie to her. Ain't nothing like being in love with somebody who loves you too. Another person here added to the conversation. A woman says, and yet some of these comments are projecting y'all own opinion of happiness on her while she's just sharing hers. It shows who's truly happy, who's just doing what they feel, what they have to, to be considered a happy woman. 
900 likes. But let's think about this for a second. She's truly happy when she had to go out and find peace because she couldn't get what she want. Finding peace because you didn't get what you wanted doesn't mean that you're happy with it. It means that you are emotionally stable enough um, to be able to come to terms with it. And that is a good thing, right? And I'm not saying you shouldn't go out here and find peace and you shouldn't sit. I'm not encouraging women to be sitting there miserable or men who, who haven't had kids. It's just, we should have conversations, honest conversations about these things because there are people right now who are in the decision-making phase. And before you say it's better to be a single mother, it's not, right? The solution to this is not to be a single mother. That's worse. The only thing worse than being alone is being alone and having kids that resent you because you, you they grew up burdened financially and without a father. So what's the solution? Well, maybe, I don't know, just maybe you might need a man, right? To stick with him long-term and not leave. Another woman here says, I thought she said she didn't want kids or marriage. Ha, listen, this is a good comment because in past videos, that's how she carried herself. And that's how most women carry themselves. You talk to them, I don't want that, I'm good. Rich auntie vibes, whatever. And then out of nowhere comes this post that Tracy is trying to find peace with not having the things that she says she didn't want. Now the person responded back to that woman and says, most women really just trying to convince themselves it's unfortunate. I wish she'd just go through a bank. She really don't know what she's missing. Next here, we have a man who says, man, stop it. If you're blessed to be able to reproduce, do it. It's why God puts you here, not for a career. Speaking facts, this man. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. He goes on to say, if you know that's not what you want, donate your eggs because there are plenty of women who die for the opportunity to bear a child. Another woman responded back to that man and says, God put me here to enjoy my life and be kind to others, not to procreate. Oh my God. <sighs> These women think they were put on this earth to have fun. These women think they were put on this earth to twerk, drink, get, get their cheeks clapped left and right, fast, not slow, and just enjoy life and be kind to others. Kind. Okay. You were not put on this earth to have fun. That's not the, the meaning of life is not fun, have a good time and enjoy life. I mean, if you're, if you're talking about like from a biblical perspective, that's the command that God gave to Adam and Eve, right? Be fruitful and multiply. But again, guys, life is too full of suffering and, and hardship. And at every turn, there's too many opportunities for people to get into it, right? Too many conflicts in life, too many tragedies for it to be about fun and happiness. There needs to be a deeper meaning to life and, and the reason why you're on this earth outside of just fun. This is t toxic thinking, train of thought, just effed up. Another woman responding back to that chicken says, a man be fruitful and multiply. Oh, no, no, no. He was responding back to that gentleman. So this chick gets it. There you go. Right. Um, another chick here added to this conversation. She says, God did not put females here to just reproduce. And if he did, she says, he put some out of pocket dead beat cheating dudes here as well. Cause y'all is not the ones to have kids with says a single mother. But don't forget lady, you control access to your body. You should use it sometime. So guys, as promised, the next set of comments here actually from my subscribers, make sure you go check us out. The Coffee Pot Official on Instagram are growing daily. First comment from a subscriber says, AKA the wall strikes again. Another person says, people who truly have peace have no need to make public declarations about it. Mm. Another person here says, finding peace insinuates that women are naturally peaceful getting to that age without a nuclear family. Take notes, ladies. Another person here says, wall is vicious. The laughing emojis never missed. Now the gentleman here added, the modern woman will never admit defeat. Next, another person says, what other choice does she have other than finding peace? And listen, I understand that she has to find peace in, in, in her life and come to terms with the decisions that she's made. But in the process of doing that, I think what where a lot of women mess up is that they try to downplay having a family, having children, having a husband. So that they somehow have to downplay women who do that or value that or the act of that. Like it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It makes a difference. Life is about people, right? Life is about the people you have in your life. I remember 
a teacher, uh, she, she was a fourth grade teacher telling me this. Last thing she ever told me, probably one of my favorite teachers in the past. I remember this teacher, her name was Mrs. Nicola. I liked her because she used to play uh, guitar. I eventually learned to play guitar myself. But she, I remember she, the last thing she told me was, remember, Chisha, life is about people. Life is about the impact you make with people, the people you have around you. Life is about people. And family is a big part of that people, right? Listen, guys, as always, curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.